Hi guys, it's me, Brandy, with the Vintage Design and Decor, and I am bringing you a, another Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. But first I wanted to show you a pair of earrings that I won for $3 in an auction, online auction. They are marked on the back KC, I believe Kenneth Cole, but they're just really gorgeous earrings. And I know I could probably resell these for at least probably $20 um, if I don't keep them for myself. I mean, they're gorgeous. They're kind of, um, I'm looking to see if that's marcasite or what that is in there, but they're like encrusted in the bottom. And then they have like an amber color stone up here. So very pretty. Um, I fell in love with them. I won this and then a necklace and um, ring that was just like some type of of those uh, decorative kind of stones that my daughter wanted and so she stole it right away. It was nothing exciting to show you. So <laughs> anyways, let's get to uh, the reason why you came. This is a five pound uh, Goodwill blue box win. And let me look and see on the box real quick where it came from. This one came from South Hackensack, New Jersey. So I've had some luck knock on wood with some Jersey lots lately. So here's the bag that came out of the box. I did notice that New Jersey does that, which I really appreciate that they put it in the plastic bag so that um, everything doesn't get quite as jumbly of a mess. So yeah, I'm going to actually let me grab the box real quick because I'm starting to get a little overwhelmed because I'm a little backed up in my uh, space and I'm starting to accumulate way too much jewelry piles and I need to start to get my jewelry piles down a little bit. So I'm gonna grab a handful. I will show you the handful that I'm grabbing. Oh, I see a rosary. Um, I hate it when the rosaries are all tangled up because it, it, I don't know, it just bothers me. Like, I don't want to yank a rosary apart. So I'm going to stick the other part of the bag there. I'm going to show you the pile here. I raised my camera angle up a little bit. I hope that helps out a little bit more. Oh, I see a ring. I'm going to grab this ring. And I'm going to move the pile off to the side here. So right off the bat, it's this really pretty silver tone ring I mean, it does have a marking I was just gonna say I'm not seeing a marking but I do let me see what it says it says something I can't read hmm it looks does it say Avon it looks like it says Avon no but no it says Monet but like very um very faintly. So that, yeah, it's a Monet ring. Um, it, it looks like those aren't, yeah, some are stones, like there's a stone there and then there's like a, um, a raised part and then a stone and a raised part. Or, you know, maybe that's just actually, there's only two. So maybe the little raised part, um, fell out from people, you know, hitting the bottom of their ring. So it's still a, a cute wearable ring. So I will definitely resell that. Anything that I can resell, I'm just gonna set back in the box. There's a lot of religious medals in this one. This one has like some schmutz on it, but this looks like Sacagawea, a Sacagawea coin. It's really pretty. It's very heavyweight. It obviously just needs a little cleaning, but that's a really nice medallion or pendant, I should say. And the chain that it's on, um, is that marked? No, it's not marked, but it's a nice chain that it's on. So I'll probably keep it on that chain to free sell. And if you guys see anything in the um, video that you like, you can email me. I put my email at the beginning of the video, but it is bvintage74 at gmail.com. So I do sell online and I also have a, um, a booth in a vintage shop. So here are some um, 
crucifixes. There's a gold tone one. I don't see any markings on them. This is pretty though. And then there is this silver one. And then there's this um, prayer one. It's like a little um, daily rosary bead type of thing. These are always nice. Sometimes I will donate these to um, a local nursing home. I actually have one right across the street from me. And um, I don't do it now because of COVID. I, don't, I try not to go near there. But um, I used to work at a nursing home that was a Catholic nursing home. And I would always bring in any rosaries that I found for the residents there. Um, wow, there's a lot. Okay, so here's another prayer one. There's another Sacagawea on the same exact kind of um, necklace. So it must have come on that necklace. Let me try and get that untangled. I have also a Virgin Mary. What else is in this stack? Oh, it's really tangled. So I will just show you who they are. This one, I don't know who this saint is. But this one is looks to be like St. Christopher, maybe. Maybe this one is too. And then um, the Virgin Mary. And then another prayer. Um, rosary beads. And then Sacagawea. <laughs> Sacagawea is all tangled up with the religious medals. Um, oh, there's a few more. Here's another um, St. Christopher. And then a St. Anthony. Or maybe instead of St. Christopher, I'm sorry. Maybe they are St. Anthony. Um, I never said that I paid attention when I was in Catholic school. <laughs> um, and then here's some more. So they're all kind of piled into this group here. Wow. And another St. Anthony. Okay. They're on nice uh, chains and stuff. So if I can get them all entangled, um, I, I would probably actually... I mean, some of these are very nice, and I could resell them, um, but probably I will, when I can, I will just donate them, because these are very, very pretty religious necklaces. And the residents like getting gifts. Um, this is just a stretch springy bracelet. It's going into crafting. This is interesting. It's made out of buttons. I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. It's just plastic buttons. But uh, they're strung together really well. So I'm actually going to keep that one in and resell it. Um, it looks like another rosary. Oh, no. This is not. It's rosary style beads. Oh, this is pretty, actually. Look at how long this is. It's really long. But it's these, like, faceted beads. And they're strung up like, like a rosary. So I'd imagine it just kind of wraps around your neck and then you just kind of uh, tie it off. Those are, that's really pretty. I like that. Love the colors too. Okay, let's try and pull out more of these religious items. Um, here's another. Oh, it's broken. So I'm going to put this one into the craft. There is a lady at our shop actually... Um, who, let's see, here's another broken one. She actually makes those, um, art pieces that, uh, she uses broken brooches and broken, um, earrings. Although sometimes I think she breaks them on purpose to make her artwork, which drives me crazy, especially when she buys my stuff to break it. Um, but one of the things that she does is uh, a religious one. So here's another prayer. Those are pretty. And this is a bracelet style um, prayer. So, and then that one also had St. Anthony on it. All right, are we done with religious stuff? No, nope, nope, nope. There's the original rosary that I saw. This is pretty. This reminds me of like a first communion rosary because it's on these pretty, well, it's tangled, all right. It's on these pretty um, colored, light colored clear stones, but they're just plastic. All right. Oh, 
Oh, this is pretty. This does have a tag and the tag says PLT. The tag itself is a little tarnishy. Um, and so is kind of back here where it would be on the back of the neck. It's a nice statement necklace, but um, I don't know. I feel like it's, I feel like it's, I don't know if it's intended to be that kind of tarnishy look. So maybe this would go into um, a mystery bag. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, I feel like it's a little too tarnishy. There's that earring we'll just set to the side and another earring I'll just set to the side. Okay, what's this? This is another religious St. Anthony. Somebody was really into St. Anthony. This one's missing something. Uh, I thought this was a rosary, but it's not. It's a necklace, but it has seen better days. So, craft. So far, I uh, see I jinxed myself by saying that about Jersey. That I got good boxes from there. This is cute, but it's broken. So, it's just going into craft. Um, this is kind of a um, ethnic style beaded, wooden beaded necklace. Um, I don't know what this is. Like, what type of, it's not stone, but it might be wood. I mean, it, it doesn't feel like wood, but it might be like a polished wood. That's pretty though. Very nice. So I'm going to stick that in my resale pile. And this is, is this marked? No. This is interesting. Um, it's, it's pretty. It's like a handmade bead ceramic bead with these silver balls that go on the side on this kind of choker style chain. So that's different. I like that. I'll put that in my resell. This is just like a pleather um, choker. It's going into crafting. Seed beads, crafting. Um, oh, this matches the earrings. So hopefully the other earring is in here because that's a nice, um, handmade kind of set. I'm not sure about the um, how you're supposed to fasten this because it's open. It's probably just a tie off at wherever you want it to. But I will set these aside and maybe the friend is in the box. This is just really, I'm sure this was cute at one point, but um, it's like a coppery tone, but it's really it's like really tarnished. You could see like the different tones in it. So I'm just gonna put that in crafting. This is a stretch bracelet, but it feels really stretched out, like really stretched out. So crafting, these two bracelets, crafting, and this, It's not in bad shape. I don't, this is really nice. This is really pretty. Um, and these beads are pretty. I just hate these rope things, but I don't know. I'll put it in maybe one of my mystery lots. Okay, next handful. Let's see. Whoops. More religious. Oh, you know what? I got to grab this. I gotta grab this out of the bag because this is too full. What is this? Let me move this aside. Go over there, go over there, go over there. Look at this. Oh, it's got a rogue friend. There you go. That is cool. Do you have any markings? I don't see any. But look at that. That is really cool. It's like like a pinky corally enamel with some tiger heads. That's really cool. And it's got, I mean, still really good closure on it like that. That's really cool. So that one will definitely go in my um, eBay store unless one of you are interested in it. If one of you are interested in it, um, just contact me and let me know and um, I'll give you a good price on it. Very cool. 
this is nice. I like this. Um, and it's just a stretch bracelet, but the stretch seems okay. Let's see. Uh, it's missing some beads. Darn it. So, craft goes. Religious. That's a uh, Virgin Mary and a uh, child. Look at Jesus. This looks like it's broken. Yes, it is. That was pretty, though. Broken craft. These, uh-uh. I don't do anything with these. So that's going in the craft. I honestly have too many of these. I don't even remember. When were these in style? Other than, like, if they're vintage. I get that if they're vintage. But when in recent times were these in style? I know people wear them. I know people wear them with certain outfits, certain colors, but I just don't remember like ever seeing like a huge trend in them. So it had to have been like a while ago. These are pretty colors. So look at how pretty those look together, but they're all just plastic beads. I don't know. I'm torn because I do have so many and I do sell them occasionally, but not often. I really like this one. This is a nice summery color. These though, these ones just feel cheap. Um, yeah, those just feel cheap. These ones are a pretty color. Maybe I'll lump these together. Are they similar length? Not really, but they kind of look good together, don't they? So maybe I'll lot them together and these will go into craft. Uh, these are all tangled up, but they don't, they don't look like anything special. Um, it's all twisted up too. So, yeah. Just set that aside. I'm, I'm going to tell you too, there was a necklace that, it totally looked like fake gold. It, it, it this reminded me of it. That's why I'm telling you the story. And it, but it had like huge rhinestones here. Like it, it obviously looked really, really costume. And, um, I looked really closely. I, I thought it was really pretty, so I set it aside for myself to wear. I looked really closely at the um, marking the other day, and I had found it a while ago. This is just too tarnished, I think, so it's going to craft, just so you know. Um, and yeah, it, it ended up, it was 14 karat gold. The chain was. I totally thought it was costume. The stones were costume, so um, the but the chain was not, so I, I did take it. And I've got scrap. This is like too far gone. It's pretty though. I debated whether to keep it, but the price of gold is really high right now. <laughs> All right. So here is one of those uh, same kind of style chains, but it's a bracelet and it has the Virgin Mary on it. This is quite the religious collection I'm going right now. This is was cute but it just looks a little grimy so i have a lot of craft going on here don't i come on new jersey oh this pretty faux pearl necklace it's broken god damn it it has a nice little closure though too look at that let me look at the closure just to make it does say something uh it says does it say japan yeah it says japan but that was really, really pretty. And the pearls were really pretty too. Um, they don't feel like they're real. But there's that's what all these little pearls are coming from. This same thing just seems grimy and gross. Um, Live Strong bracelet. No thanks on that. So that will go into crafting. This looks pretty, both of these here. Okay. Oops. 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 Yeah, look at this. Look how pretty that is. Nice. It has all its stones, has all that bling. Has a nice um vintage style closure. I like that. I actually will probably keep this one for myself <laughs> for at least a while. I don't know. Like I have anywhere, honestly, to wear something like that. 
I, I honestly don't, but it's pretty. All right, so um, I am not a Mets fan. So anybody that is a Mets fan, you can have this. Uh, if not, it's going into my crafting. Um, let's see, Rogue Earring. This is what I saw that was pretty. <laughs> it was marked down to $2.99. But look at how nice that pendant is. Um, I don't know if I can get the chain that it's on untangled, but I will try. It, is, it has a big knot in it. If not, I will cut that off and see if I can slip another chain in there because that's pretty. Okay. This bracelet is way far gone. Very tarnished. Somebody loved this a lot. And I see a tag on this. Looks like Leah Sophia. Yeah. Okay. So this necklace here is a Leah Sophia. And it has these like little bobbles on it. There's a bird. It's in good shape. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, there's a silver necklace. That's there. We go. Now I can show you. So it's got like a bird and some other little things. It it definitely needs a bath. Uh, eh, I don't know. Yeah, it's. I'll still keep it. Okay, so this is definitely going into crafting, but I think this is silver. So this is going bye bye. And then let's see, this is marked. I see the mark. I have my glasses on tonight so I can see. <laughs> All right. 95, yes. Marked 95. So it is broken, so it's going in my scrap pile. I swear I have this necklace. Um, so, or I've had it before. It's going into craft. It is not in good shape, but... I know I've seen that one before. Back to the beads. This is a more recent handmade looking piece. So it's pretty color though, but I don't need it. Oh, look at This is like, these can go away. Oh no. Oh, there's the earring. Okay. I thought that was like attached to that. So there's the earring. So I have the set. I have the set for these, so I will put these in my pile for resale. This is a locket. I think it's a Madewell. It's got an M on the back. An M on the back. And it has some type of like, probably, you know, like some type of yoga type of thing. What's this supposed to go in there? I don't know. Maybe something with essential oils because um, it's got like a screen there so you can breathe it. So I don't know. And it's on this like cord. It's kind of cool. If somebody knows what that says, let me see that. Let me know if you know what that says. Maybe like peace or namaste or something. I don't know. All right. Oops, that's trash. Sorry. Okay, um, another cross, just a gold cross. These are not real gold. They feel very lightweight. Um, oh, I do have, okay, here we go. So we do have, ugh. all right, we do have these bears in a stocking earrings and then these snowman earrings. So I do have sets. Um, this still has some good stretch to it. Just a wooden beaded bracelet. That's cool. I like that. Paper. This is really stretched out. It's a religious medallion, a religious, like, themed bracelet. This is super cute, but wow, is it super tiny. Is it meant, for, obviously, for babies? I don't know. But it's cute. It's got these little ladybugs on it. Would that fit? I guess that would fit a little kid's wrist because it fits mine just like, yeah, like good luck trying to get it attached, but it fits. So 
That's cute. I'll put that in my booth. These are all roached out. They're just these little rhinestone. This is broken. Oh, a ring. Yay. I haven't gotten a ring in a while. It is a stretch ring. Oh, no. It's missing a stone. Dang it, that was a cool ring, too. So, <laughs> darn it. Let me pick up some of these pearls. All right. So, yeah, he's going into crafting. And then this is a vintage looking tassel necklace. This is really cool, actually. It's got like these cobalt blue beads in between this gold. So, I think this will clean up nicely. Um, I like that. That's really pretty. Oh yeah, there's a mod earring. And then this is just a pendant with a butterfly that's pretty and like the resin over it. So that's pretty, I'll put that in there. And then, oh, this is a pretty, I was just about to put this in craft, but I mean, it's a little tarnishy. Yeah, maybe it's too tarnishy. I don't know, I can't, I can't tell if that was meant to be like that because it's like every other one. So maybe it's supposed to look like that. I'll keep that. All right, we're getting towards the end here. Another handful. I love this awesome bracelet, that looks cool. Okay. Can I divide this? Well, off the bat, there's another one of those rings. So it must be like a stack set of those rings. This little guy's cute. He looks like a little Mayan warrior. Um, he is marked. Let me see what he's marked and then I'll show him to you. Where's, I don't want to poke myself in the eye. Okay, what is he marked? What? Maybe he's not marked. I think it's like it it wants to look like it's marked. Oh, wait. Uh, what does it say? P&M Paris. Okay. P&M Paris does a Mayan-inspired jewelry, apparently. I have to look that one up because I've never had one of their pieces before, but he's cool. I think he'll clean up nicely. Look at his face. He <laughs> like his face. So I'm going to set him to the side so I can look him up before I forget. Okay, this has a price tag from Goodwill on it for $2.99. And uh, this is a really cool, I had to stop myself. I almost said like, uh, like a really, <laughs> a not good word to describe how kick, you know what this is. I like this. This is awesome. I feel like Wonder Woman actually. <laughs> um, look at how pretty the detail is on that. This is gorgeous and it's not marked, but it, it looks like, it looks like silver and it looks like alpaca silver really on the inside. So I'm going to test that one. I mean, it could be like just another metal or something, but with like the silver overlaid, but it's very soft like it could be. So I like that. Uh, here's an earring that matches this earring. So I have a set of clips. This is a way overstretched bracelet. Um, let's get this untangled here. Come on. All right. This is pretty. It is not silver or anything because it's got the coppery coming through there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I'll set this to the side and see if my daughter wants this one. I don't, I don't want to resell it with that coppery look coming through. Let's see. Pandora bracelet. I can't remember because I got rid of my Pandora bracelet. 
don't tell my husband, but I got rid of it a while back. And I can't remember if it was marked here where it said Pandora or if it wasn't. So yeah, these beads are nothing. They, they don't say anything. And these don't say anything either. It's got some cute charms on it, but yeah, I'll probably honestly take all this off and keep the bracelet to resell. But yeah, if you had a Pandora bracelet or still do, um, let me know if it, I can't remember if it says Pandora anywhere on the bracelet or not. This, this feels just like the one I had and it opens just like the one I had. So um, maybe I'll keep this one and pretend like I still have mine. But no, I, I actually had sold mine a while back when um, I stopped wearing it. So anyways, I'll set that to the side. Good thing he doesn't watch my videos. Um, a little angel pin. She's cute. She's holding like a little blue heart. So I'll set her to the side. I, I will definitely sell her. Little magnetic stretch bracelet, but eh, it's just a homemade piece. Nothing special. So let's go into craft. This is pretty. Look at the color on this. Oh, I love the clasp. Okay, look at the clasp. Look how pretty that clasp is. And then these beads are just really pretty. Really, really pretty. So I am definitely going to resell that. Really nice. I'm thinking of doing a Facebook Live sale. So um, some of this stuff I'm, I'm kind of setting aside for that. Uh, here is a memory wire bracelet with a cross on it. But it's going into crap. I don't know. That's, it's actually in really good shape. Um, I'll try and sell it in my booth. I feel like I have a, quite a bit of those in my booth. My daughter likes these kind of stretch bracelets. For some reason, the kids are into stacking them now, so I'll set that aside for her. Lisa, I have your bracelet, and um, if you want it back, let me know. <laughs> this is cute, but it's going into craft. I have a friend whose name is Lisa. I'm not that close to her anymore because we went to high school together, but um, I should save it and give it to her. Okay, this is a J. Crew. Nice, really? Because that surprises me. Like this is this is kind of craziness. And you all, you all know what I'm thinking of when I'm looking at this part of it, right? Like seriously, what does that look like? <laughs> um, but it's pretty. So, and it's J. Crew. I will definitely, it's got all its stones. I'll clean this up and um, who knows, maybe it'll sell if I market it as, um, you know, looking like it does. Anyways, <laughs> but it's, it's actually in really good, really good shape. There's the J. Crew tag right there. Hmm. I'd have never guessed that was a J. Crew. So, I'll put that to the side. Got a little ring. This is cute. I will put that in my booth because somebody will definitely purchase that for themselves or their little girl. Um, this also has a tag. Lane Bryant. There's the little hang tag there. And hopefully I can get it untangled. Okay, so it's just this nice long, it's got these nice beads, and then these long danglies. It's, uh, I'm looking it over, but it's kind of, I think it's meant to be this kind of um, rusty gunmetal kind of looking color. And then it's got these really nice, like, uh, coppery faceted beads, but it's like, it, it's actually weird because the facets have black see that yeah and then these are encrusted with like an amber color stone it's pretty very pretty okay I'll get rid of these because they're right here um, these are just two post style earrings um, I'll sell these for like a dollar in my booth always good filler or I'll put them in a mystery lot those are good for mystery lots 
these I'm not a big huge shell necklace person because I mean they just they don't really sell for me but these are actually really nice this is really cool I don't know what this is if it's bone it kind of looks like bone and it's a hook so I think actually this would sell online for sure wouldn't sell up here in my booth but it would sell online and maybe I'll just include this one with it this is just one of those tourist shell pieces sometimes I feel like I should um contact somebody in Florida and say hey listen I have a bunch of shell necklaces that you can sell in your shop to more tourists and it's like a life cycle we'll just get them back and I'll send them back and <laughs> anyways this is kind of cool it's a rubber bracelet but it's going into craft All right, this is what happens when you film later in the evening. You get a little slap happy. This is some type of religious thing to seek faith, peace, and courage. So they each say something that's cute. Oh, that's cute. I will, I will install that in my booth. Um, this feather, oh, you know what? Okay. So, I mean, if you if you're if you're one of my friends and you're from around here, you you already know this story. But um, I'm actually going to give this feather necklace to um, a lady that lost her son with about a year ago. Um, he was autistic and uh, he was in a bad car accident because he took the family's keys and in the middle of the night and tried to drive the car and ended up hitting a tree and killing himself. And he was young he was I think 14 but um 13 or 14 yeah so every time she sees a feather it reminds uh, her of him so I'm going to give this to her because that that to me is exactly what that reminds me of so I will set that to the side um this is really pretty it's marked who is it marked can't tell what that says. It would be nice if it said Chanel. <laughs> Ex exchange. Exchange arm. Exchange. Oh, exchange Armani. Exchange Armani. Okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. I, I don't know. I mean, like I know Armani, um, and I don't know. It just doesn't, like does Armani make this kind of bracelet? <laughs> Is Exchange Armani like the, 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 a different version? I don't know. It's pretty. Those are gorgeous stones. I'll look that up. I don't know. If you guys know anything about Exchange Armani, let me know. Okay. Back to... Oh, this is pretty. Look at that. That is, um, uh, I think it's supposed to be this color. It's like this rusty color again, but it's got these really pretty beads. They look like rosary beads, but there's nothing, uh, religious attached to it. And there's no tag, so I don't know who it is. There is, unfortunately, ugh, there's a knot up there that's really, really tight. So I'm not sure. That might just go in a mystery bag. Okay, there's a few more. This is like, all right, let me go for the ones that's not tangly. Jesus medallion. And See, this is pretty. Um, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. This is really pretty. And then it has this on the back. I feel like I need to do something like with all these. I mean, that's really pretty. With all these religious. I thought that was marked, but maybe not. It's very heavy, like it would be something. But yeah, I feel like I need to do something with all those, like make sure they get somewhere there's supposed to be. Um, I'm glad they didn't end up in a landfill. This is cute. 
It's this little beaded necklace. Um, it's a little choker style. I'll probably put that in a mystery lot. This is pretty. Um, uh, how is that even tangled in there? There we go. Okay. So here's it laid out. Looks like it has... No, it doesn't. It's missing a stone. Darn it. That's really pretty, too. Really pretty. But crafting it goes. All right. A very stretched out bracelet, charm bracelet. Okay. Um, what, back to the gold thing, because I, I see this gold that I'm trying to untangle here. This is kind of cool. It's a gold shark's tooth. Um, if you ever get earrings, I mean, it could be an earring like this. Always, always, always check the back to make sure, because I don't know if you've done this before or not, but, you know, we all just kind of sometimes grab whatever back we have and off another earring and stick it on. I've found so many earring backs that are actual gold, real gold, and I've been able to scrap them and get money for them and a good amount of money for them too. So don't ever just pitch it without looking at it first. That's just a little tip. <laughs> this says G on, whoops. Oh, S on one side and G on the other of this little star hang tag if you can see that and then it's got this like shark gold shark's tooth so i don't know i'll probably cut that little i might cut the shark's tooth off of the chain and then um give the shark's tooth to my son you know what's weird is okay so the chain is not magnetic right and it's like it doesn't look like it belongs on this. So it's almost like the chain is gold and got broken. So they put it on this little extender. I don't know, that's weird. Because uh, that part's clearly magnetic. But look at that. This is a really strong magnet too. So that's gonna go in my uh, testing. Where are we at here? This is cute. This looks like something I already owned once before in my life. And it's tangled up in this religious, uh, religious medallion. It's got it tangled up. This looks like a J. Crew, doesn't it? With that kind of clasp. But it's not marked. Okay. I don't know. What do you guys think? Don't you think with that? I mean, I know other companies can have that same toggle, but it's kind of indicative of it. So I'll see if I can get it untangled from this. It's still a cute necklace. It's a little faded, but it's attached to um, a religious prayer. I don't know who that is. I was going to tell you who it was, but I don't know. I think it's Joseph and baby Jesus. Is it Joseph and baby Jesus? I think so. I really... I need to get back to church. There we go. So yeah, it's really pretty. I think it, oops, I think it is a J. Crew. Okay, so I will set that in my pile. Here's another star hang tag. It says something. I know it's just on a little leather. K, K cane. So it looks like it's cake cane. Cake cane is attached to this. And I know these the kids are into these crystal things lately. So it will probably either go in my booth or to um, one of my daughter's friends or something. So I will set that one in that little pile. What is this? Is that a, it looks, this looks like an airy tag. Oy. Come on, there we go. There we go. All 
All right, let's see the tag. No, wait. Yeah, it's American Eagle, AEO, American Eagle Outfitters. It's pretty. It's really pretty. I'll set that to the side. This is going into crafting. And this is kind of cool. Uh, is it, I don't know why this is on there. Okay, let me fasten this. Okay, sorry. I know that was kind of boring. This is like a, a little sunshine on a cloth rope. But it, the sunshine is kind of cool. So I'm going to keep that. Probably put that in my booth. Okay, so like I said, that's crafting. This little piece is crafting. This... This is cool, whatever this is. I gotta get it untangled though. And it's got a hang tag. Oh, it's AEO too, so it's American Eagles. Um, this, I'm just gonna cut this. Where are my scissors? Because this is going into craft anyways. It's some kind of, um, it's some kind of uh, advertisement for an internet thing. Okay, so that's going into crafting. Now I just have these two, maybe three. Oh, so this isn't the American Eagle. This is a mountainscape. I don't know what mountain, but that's kind of cool. It's I, I'm not in love with the chain that it's on. Um, because the chain kind of feels grimy, but we will um clean it up and see if it's ugh, yeah, that really felt grimy. Okay, so this is. This one is not American Eagle. It just has this like little heart with this little stone on here. So that's, I mean, it's kind of cute. I will probably see, honestly, oh, did I get, could you see that with my fingers? Right. There you go. I'll probably see if my daughter wants that. She might craft with it or something. Okay, so here is the American Eagle one. Leaves out like that. Very bohemian. Very cute. And that will get my stash there. All right, now we got another tangle here. It looks to be a bracelet maybe, tangled up. I don't know, this is cute though, whatever this is. There's something cute in here. Let's see. I feel like I'm making it worse, but at the same time, I feel like it's coming un undone. Okay, wait a minute. Maybe this is all one necklace. Like, this is how it's supposed to be. It was marked $2.99 at Goodwill. Oh, yeah. I, I seriously legit think that this is how it's supposed to be. Like, all these things attached to it. This is crazy. This is probably, I mean, it's, it's, cool but it's probably a little too crazy <laughs> to even resell hold on oh my gosh I'm, I'm not joking like this is seriously uh, it's all okay so it's supposed to be like I mean it's got some pretty little charms on it it's supposed to be like that where it lays out into the the different layers right but this is just causing a lot of crazy commotion this this stuff at the end it's all twisted it has like this you know long dangles from it it's cool I don't know I hate to not keep it but that's just it's odd and it's just a tangly mess darn it this is cute but ugh. this is and American Eagle also. Cute little heart. But it's on a really gross wire, um, not wire, fabric. This is broken. This is pretty too. But it's broken. Okay, then we're left with this one. This is a 
satellite, the name on the tag says satellite. I don't think you can see that. Um, but this is really kind of cool because um, it's like copper Ugh. and it's like stuck. But anyways, it has this bead that has like a little flower and stuff. So that's kind of cool. I think somebody would like that. And then we had this big mother of pearl, Mamma Jamma. She's going into crafting now. Oh, and then the other earring like this. Them. And I do stick these in my booth. I don't honestly know how many of those sell, but as far as like that style, they don't sell quickly, but okay, that's it for that bag. Uh, this was pretty till I saw it was attached. I don't know. Those just seem like they would be hard for me to get clean. So crafting it is. It's pretty though. Um, a beaded necklace crafting man got a lot of crafting stuff in this one but that's all right I mean it happens this is actually pretty cool it looks really tiny though okay so you unhook it by unhooking the anchor um, it just seems like I mean okay so here I'm gonna put it on me which is it seems like it'd be a real pain in the butt so anytime you have to ask somebody get you to help you put your jewelry on unless you're Julia Roberts and Richard Gere in Pretty Woman putting on like a $500,000 necklace all right so there's yeah I mean anytime you gotta help have somebody help you it's not worth it half the time but um I mean it's cute I'll probably sell it you you would probably have to have somebody help you <laughs> or and or have a small wrist too because it's it uh, is a little tight even on me. Oops. Oh. No. I thought I had I had a, a single earring that was similar to this. It's a little snowman. I think he's by himself, though. Um, this is HCO. And it has nothing special. It's just like the, it has the hang tag with the, the bling and a little bit of bling over here on the Maybe that's tangled, but yeah, nothing special. So, that's not magnetic, but that doesn't mean anything. I'll still test it. This was $2.99 at the GW, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't see anybody paying $2.99 for that. He's cute though, isn't he? But yeah, he'll probably go into crafting. Sorry, Rudolph. Oh, this is pretty. And it's not marked. And it has some schmutz, but I think that's actually from... Is that from the price tag? I think so. I don't know. It's cool, though. Look at it. It's like inlaid with different wood. So I'll try and clean it up. Here's the um, mate to the other 1980s earring. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, it's missing. So, bye. And this one's going bye. And this one's going bye because I don't have... Let me just make sure I don't have that snowman. No, they don't have their mates. This is also going into crafting because that's... No. <laughs> Alright, so this looks to be... Maybe... I don't know. Maybe a homemade... P yeah, it's on this weird wire. Um, but I think they attached it to a sterling necklace. I'm looking to see if it has a marking. It feels sterling. I don't know. I might. Yeah, we're going to test that one. Too. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow. This is like sticks in a necklace. Come sail away with me. Come on. Are you broken? Look at that. That is ginormous. Really, really, really ginormous. My grandmother used to wear ginormous stuff like this. 
Okay. So, yeah, this is cool. It's not marked. I don't know if it's old or modern because it's weird. The chain actually feels old. It, and the chain is... Wait a minute. Why is it like that? It must... Oh, okay. Hold on. So the chain isn't really long. It's just caught up on... There we go. So it's on this like multi-strand chain. See this, the three on each side? So let me attach that. I don't know if it would lay right or not. It doesn't want to lay right for me. So I don't know. It's interesting. I don't know if I could get the mast to go in the right spot. Okay. You know what I mean? I think it's broken, actually. I think it was supposed to attach there. Yeah, it was. That's really cool though. Somebody can craft with it and make a really cool piece of jewelry out of it. This is just going into craft too. These are beautiful. I love these beads, how they have the flex of the copper in them and everything. Or these stones, I should say, not beads. But, um, yeah, I don't think it's meant to be. Well, it might be meant to be a bracelet, but I don't know. Maybe I'll stick it in my booth and see what it does. And then another one of these. So it was a set of three stacks. And a bunch of miscellaneous curls and pieces. So that was it. I will look up these um, ones that I wasn't sure of and see uh, maybe if I've got something. I don't know. I don't know what, what the Armani one might be. It doesn't look like it would be of any value. And it actually probably wouldn't be because now that I'm talking about it, the... Uh, the little leather that it's on is kind of coming apart right there. But I still am curious to know, though, about this brand. So I don't think it's anything special. But I could be wrong. I could very well be wrong. And let me know what you would do if you got all these religious emblems. Would you donate them? Uh, would you give them, put them in a craft lot? Um, what would you do? I'm curious to see. So I definitely, here's all the religious ones. Let's lay them out here. Definitely, definitely have a lot of them. Oh, not that one. But yeah, so there's all the the pile of religious religious emblems. This is obviously still tangled up, but it's uh, all together somehow. And I, I don't think this is any. I don't think any of this is no. <laughs> I don't think any of it's real gold. No, no. So now I have an even bigger mess. But yeah, I'll straighten it back out. Let me know what you would do with that. And then also, too, about the Pandora. Let me know if, uh, th I swear, this feels just like a Pandora. So it's got to be. But let me know if you know for sure. I thought mine said Pandora on here, but I could be wrong. Maybe this was a free one they gave away. I know they did that occasionally, too. You bought so many beads, they gave you a free bracelet. Cruise ships did that. And a lot of times, they would look exactly like a Pandora. So maybe that's one of these. I don't know. But, all right, well, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.